Okay, let's get started. First, I'm going to go through all of the supplies that you're going to need. First of all, I cut Kona Snow fabric into fat quarters. You're going to need um, fabric dye, and I use the Dynaflow fab fabric dye. It's kind of an ink, and it is available in my store. There are also uh, six other colors that are more or less the primary colors. These are really bright colors. Of course you're going to need your shaving cream and I just bought the cheap Walmart dollar a can shaving cream. You're also going to need some sort of a squeegee and I didn't have a squeegee but I did have this foam trowel that you use when you um, grout tile and it this works perfectly for what we're going to do. You're also going to need a wooden spoon or a skewer or any kind of a stick. The last thing you're going to need are some flat cookie sheets with sides. I'm I've chose to use the bigger one because it is wide enough to do most of the fat quarter. Okay, so first of all, what you're going to do Okay, so first of all, what you're going to do is take your cookie sheet and you're going to spray out the shaving cream all over the cookie sheet. You want to put enough in to where it is um, deep enough to where you're not going to hit the bottom of the pan. Okay, then you take your squeegee or your straight edge or whatever you're going to use and we're going to smooth it out. Try to get it kind of level and even. Okay. Okay. And you can use aluminum foil to line your pan, but Shaving cream washes off so easy that I didn't really see a need for it. Okay, now you're going to choose your colors. I think this time we will do... Um, let's do a pink, green, and a turquoise. And let's do a dark golden yellow. Okay, there's different ways you can put your dye in your shaving cream. And what I might do is kind of split this in half and I'll show you like two different ways. So, one way is just to drop little drops all over okay and we'll 
do that with the rest of the colors. Normally you would do the whole pan, but I'm saving half of it to show you another technique. Okay, there's the blue. And we have pink. I try to drop in the empty spaces where there's no ink already. Okay. And then we're going to do yellow. And I don't think you can really get carried away with your ink. Now, this is where the skewer and the spoon come in. What you can do now is just draw lines back and forth. And I'm going to use that quarter to show you another little technique. But you can draw lines back and forth. Okay. I like to do a swirl. Now when you do this, you don't want to over mix. Otherwise, you'll end up with just a big blob of gray. Now, the skewer makes smaller lines. The spoon handle's bigger, so it would make a lot bigger. It will mix it just a little bit more than the skewer. Okay. That's with the drops. This side, I am going to do some lines across. Do some blue. And we'll finish up with some green. Okay. Now what we can do, let's try the spoon. We can drag the spoon back and forth. This way. And then we can go this way. And it makes kind of a swirly pattern. So after you have it all swirled the way you want, then it's time for the fabric. 
make some little swirls. Okay, so now what we're going to do is take a piece of the fabric, and this fabric is also in my shop. And we're going to take the fabric and lay it right on top and just softly press it down. And just kind of rub it down so that all the ink comes into contact with the fabric. Then, you're going to slowly peel it off. Now, you can also use it again. So, without messing up what I just did, I'm going to lay this piece on top to finish this side of my fat quarter. Smooth it. Try to get it all covered. The second time may not be quite as dark, but you can get several pressings. Okay. I'm going to lift it up. I'm going to move our pan out of the way. Okay, I'm going to lay my fabric down, shaving cream up. Okay. And this is where the squeegee comes in. take my squeegee, start at one end, and slide across. Take as much of the shaving cream off as you can get. Shaving cream cleans up with water, so it's easy to clean up. Okay. And there's our piece of printed fabric. I think I like this one the best with the lines, and, but I also like the swirls when you do the circles. Now what you'll do is let this dry and you can take um, a hot iron to set the die. So you want to iron over it. Um, I think the instructions say you want heat to it for at least like three minutes. Set the die and then you can uh, wash it out and my test samples, I threw them in the wash machine with detergent and they came out perfectly. So that's your tutorial. Thank you. Bye.